Let me share to you the virtual lesson demonstration of my student in college. Actually, she's taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education. Let's start! Good day everyone, I'm Lady Mika Sean and today we'll be learning about closed versus open-ended problems. Let's have first closed problems. What are closed problems? Closed problems are well-structured problems in terms of clearly formulated tasks where the one correct answer can always be determined in some fixed ways from the necessary data given in the problem situation. So, in other words, closed problems are the type of problems that has only one correct answer. Closed problems has two types. These are the routine problems and the non-routine problems. What are routine problems? Routine problems are content-specific. It has multiple, multiple steps and has an immediate solution. How about the non-routine problems? Non-routine problems are heuristics. It uses problem-solving strategies. It is complex problems or hard problems. It has no immediate solution unlike the routine problems. And it needs creativity and analysis to solve this kind of problem. Now, let's have its example. First, we have routine problem example. Matthew buys 25 books that cost 52 pesos per book. How much should he spend? What are the given in this problem? Of course, the number of pieces of books, which is 25 pieces, and the costs per book, which is 52 pesos. Then, what is asked in the problem? How much did Matthew spend? Or the total Matthew spent for 25 books. So, the basic operation we'll be using here is multiplication. So, this can, this is the solution. 25 times 52 pesos. So, the product will be 1,300 pesos. So, Matthew spent 1,300 pesos for 25 books. So, that's the answer. How about the non-routine problem example? So, the figure below shows here, the figure here, shows a weighing scale that is perfectly balanced. So, it is perfectly balanced. If the value of each box is 27, so this box is 27, is this, this. What is the value of each cylinder? So, we assume that these cylinders have equal weights. So, the we the given in this problem is 27 which is the value of one box so this box here will be equal to the weight of the box here this one box then here this side has four cylinders then it is the same value of the weight on the other side which has four cylinders also what's remaining will be three cylinders here and on the other side is one box so this box is equal to the weights value of the weights of these three cylinders so we all know what's the value of this box each box is 27 so 27 divided by 3 because we have three cylinders here so 3 27 divided by 3 so the quotient will be 9 so the quotient is 9 which is the value of each cylinder so that's the example of the routine problem so let's go to open-ended problems what are open-ended problems open-ended problems often named ill-structured problems as they involve a higher degree of ambiguity and may allow for several correct answer or solutions different from closed problems which has only one correct answer so open-ended problems are understand conceptually if we convert closed problem into open-ended situation 
then these problems are applied problems with real life context and mathematical investigations are and projects are of this type of problem so what are the features of open-ended problems of course first it has many possible answers so this, there is no fixed answer next is you can solve it in different ways and on different levels levels and because of that it empowers students to make their own mathematical decisions and make room for own mathematical thinking and it will develop of course the reasoning and communication skills of the students so let's have an example for open-ended problems place digits 1 2 3 4 and 5 in these circles here below so that the sum across here and vertically which is here are the same describe the strategy you use to find your solution so this problem has many possible solutions so first we have what if we will put one at the center what will be the number across and vertically so on this side is two on the other side will be five on the upper side will be three and on the lower side will be four so we'll take the sum across two plus one plus five is eight and three plus one plus four is equal to eight also so across and vertically has the same sum which is eight so this is a solution for the problem then let's have another solution what if we will put three at the center so three at the center and the other side will be one and the other side will be five on the upper side will be two and on the lower side will be four so let's take the sum one plus three plus five is equal to of course nine then vertically two plus three plus four is nine also so they have the same sum across and vertically which is nine so this is also a solution to the problem now let's have another solution what if we will put five at the center then the number across will be one on the other side and in the other side will be four vertically on the upper side will be two and on the other side will be three so let's take the sum one plus five plus four will be ten and two plus five plus three is equal to ten also so this is another solution for the problem so let's have another example for an open-ended problem students are asked to create a mathematical sentence that includes certain problems numbers and words example create a sentence that includes number three and four along with the words more and and these are the possible answers three and four are more than two of course three and four together are more than six 34 and 26 are more than 34 and 20 and etc so this certain problem has many possible answers so these are the example of open-ended problems then what are the difference between closed and open-ended problems now that we have learned the closed and open-ended problems so closed problems are a question or problems that only have that have only one correct answer and one strategy to obtain the answer while the open-ended problems are questions or problems which has more than one correct answer and more than one strategy to obtain this answer so what what will you do if the students cannot understand what you thought what you are teaching so like for example in this um, topic you can show the students how to convert closed problem into open-ended situations for conceptual understanding so that they will understand conceptually you can turn the question from closed to open-ended problems like this for example closed what is half of 20 
Now we can turn that problem into 10 is the fraction of number. What could the fraction and the number be? This is a closed problem because it has only one correct answer, which is what's the half of 20? It's 10, of course. Then here, 10 is the fraction of a number. What's it? What's the answer? So the possible answers has, are many. Like for example, 10 divided by 1 is 10. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so on and so forth. There's many possible answer. Then let's have another example. Close problem. For close problem, find the difference between 23 and 7. 23 minus 7 will always be 6. It has uh it has only one correct answer. Well, if we turn that uh, problem into open-ended problem, it will be the difference between two numbers is 16. So the difference between two numbers is 16. What are the factors? We can, we can um, subtract 17 minus 1, 18 minus 2, 19 minus 3, and the answer will be 16. So, it has many possible answers. So, that's open and closed and dead problems. Thank you for listening, everyone. God bless.